interesting. Looks like uh, somebody's been here with uh, and put some new ground anchors in. Apart from that one snapped worryingly. Well, it's a sign of the autumn. Winter's on its way with a decent fine south. Welcome back to another video. It seems like, I don't know, it's been months since I've been out on the rocks fishing for, uh, for pollock, cod and whatever else is biting to be honest today. Been mostly fishing for bass but it is late September and I would have liked to have been here a lot earlier than, than low tide but um, I woke up this morning and I think nearly everybody in U the UK decided to go to a petrol station for some reason. So it was a long long slow drive up the A1 uh, with no fuel passing every garage I just had a, a queue for miles and miles and miles out of it finally managed to find a garage 120 miles later so yeah it took a little longer than we are, than I anticipated but as you can see the tide's really low at the minute uh, I have fished here once before and I fished it tied down now low tide's about now so I'm gonna fish it tied up last time I fished it here I fished here and then over this structure here and the structure under here and as the tide drained out uh, it became more and more difficult to fish so I moved over onto this little headland here so the plan today is to start on there and finish on here so basically reversing what I did last time don't know if this place will be as productive uh, I'm gonna stop yabbering on get tackled up let's go there's a bit of a southwesterly wind forecast pretty benign at the minute but it's meant to get up to about uh, 22 or 23 miles an hour so I'm trying to fish this place pretty hard and then I'll go to a mark that's a lot more protected from the wind and this swell depending on how the fishing is uh, it's like a churn and melting part of fishiness here's a new net it's a Spro freestyle extender 3.8 meters but it's actually got two different settings or three different settings so you can use it like that or you can uh, extend it to two and a half meters or three three point eight meters so I've used other ones that don't have this function and they are really uh, awkward when you're not fishing too high off the deck because you end up like a five meter you end up like pulling it and pulling it and pulling it then you just get way too much uh, length and my classic uh, eight foot five inches slash lanyard feet rated at four to 28 grams two and a half thousand size Daiwa BG mag sealed with 12 pound Tazline elite braid on and a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader I feel like I'm in a bit of a hurry because the tide's coming in but I don't really want to fish this hard because last time the swell was too big but I don't need to worry too much got a good few hours I'm gonna start with this uh, 15 gram fish minnow the wind's really starting to pick up already but uh, I want to fish as light as I can while the wind's low and then maybe swap over to like a heavier metal or something heavier later on when I have to so uh, there's a little bit of color in the water so I've gone for a solid color Assuming that was a coolie. Every time I'm bringing this back in, I'm having to, well, I'm not having, but I should do, put the hook back in. I'm just nicking it under the uh, the back of the lure like that. The ground's so snaggy here that uh, it just helps stop um, snagging up. Next cast, 
and another hit. That looks a bit more pollocky because they tend to uh, hit it from underneath and whips the tail up and over. It's a good sign though. Just swapped colours. Went for something a little bit a bit brighter. I think this is called French Paradise colour. Very sandy you look like. Come up from the deck. Take the zip of the cow. GoPro battery died just as I caught that fish. There we go. It's not massive. Looks like it might have been caught before. It's uh, even though he's been rubbing against rock. But, uh, and a quick relief into the water. Damn. I was winding my lure in after getting snagged and it wasn't very deep at all and I actually saw the fish come out and hit my lure. Just down there and then it took me into the uh, into the kelp. It wasn't much of a scrap in all honesty but uh yes first fish on the board. Normally I bump I uh, lure along the ground and uh, along the seabed as quick as slow as possible. So that fish gets yeah, so shallow and such a quick move and bait that I've let up the speed a little bit just to see whether the fish are more active and wanting a faster bait or whether that one was just exceedingly hungry or not. So I'm letting my lure hit the deck and then I'm lifting it and then ripping it for a bit and then letting it sink down again or just letting it hit the deck because Pollock will often hit on the drop and cod as well and then uh, just ripping it back Got some metal tied on your fish will um, raise a claw so the middle uh, taking the treble off and I've replaced the uh, treble with a single but this is still rigged up from uh, my Orkney trip where I was a bit enthusiastic with my hook size and put a 301. It meant to be a one foot twelve, but uh, that was a big set. Uh, I think that's one pulled in tight. Yeah, lost it. I've actually lost. Uh, this leader was about eight feet, and it snapped uh, maybe two feet down. Pretty clean as well, so that must have been over a pretty sharp edge. Time for a new leader. I'm gonna put on a Savage Gear Sandy LV 
two, uh, very bright, uh, 15 gram version. It's actually the deepest water I've found all day. Ah, it looks good in there, but uh, every time I've retrieved, I've had weed on it. So there's a big swell coming together. I'm thinking this all this well pushing there. Pushing weed into this gully. They're emptying it out again. It's more like an Atlantic swell than a, uh, a North Sea swell. Well, that lasted 10 minutes. This uh, swell's making it pretty tricky. To as well as the wind to kind of fish around all the structure. I've actually gone a little bit left field here. Got a 21 gram Cheb, a little um, TRD uh, from Z-Man, I think three inch. So I'm gonna bump this along the bottom. And the idea is because this floats, this just sticks up and wibbles around in the swell and uh, fish comes along and gobbles it. That's a theory anyway, let's go and put it to practice. Need some form of hitchhiker or something. Or this always happens to me with Z-Man lures. They can draw some lures, but uh, always slide down the, uh, the bend there. I need some something to put a lock on there. Maybe a dab of super glue or something. I'm gonna take this off and try something else. And there we go. Swift, big changeover into the uh, slider shad. Ghost minnow color, I think. Grass minnow. Not sure. Catches lots of fish though. So. Oh, there's something big down there. Just absolutely took me uh, my lure completely. Just as I lifted over a snag and uh, yeah, lure's completely gone. since I caught that uh, pollock but I even had a bite in the first couple of minutes with this uh, slider probably not the lure it's probably just a coincidence but the fish seem to have arrived typically just as I'm getting pushed off this rock and again nearly took me in there really positive hit I'm just not hooking up I usually use a 2-0 hook on here, but I've got a 1-0 on. That was lazy. That's what I had with the TRD, so... Well, I've just moved there, and all of a sudden this outcrop that I've been fishing off has got really small. The water's actually lapping up behind us now, and then on this side as well. So we've only got a couple of more casts here, I think, and then it's probably through this move. I think that's it on here. Just to show you what I'm talking about, you can see the waves coming up around here. Then up over this bit. There's loads of time across. Like the tide's not too high, but uh, big rollers that are coming through. All of a sudden, this little uh, this little piece of land here gets really small. And you can see it's back filling there. So I'm going to uh, nip over onto this and cast straight out. Shame it's now we're gonna have a crosswind, but there's nothing else I can do really. Safety first. It's a bit tricky this with uh, with no hands. Looks like I got loads of time on there, but this swell's a bit erratic. And it's coming squeezing through this gap over there and building here. Let's see again. 
it's obviously a big shelf here that's why these swells are picking up like this I think I'm going to give it 20 more minutes here try and scare that seal away and then uh, if I can't I'm going to go over to my usual marks that I haven't visited in ages alright so I've just sat down had a bite to eat and had a little word with myself missing too many bites basically what I've done is I've rigged up properly now put a 2 o hook on so there's less tail easier for the fish to bite since they seem to be nipping at the tail uh, I've also gone down to the 14 gram chub which might be a little light but I want to have a slower sink rate to give the fish give it a more natural appearance and since the fish seem to be hitting it on the move it, then there'll be the longer hang time in the water if that makes sense it's not just sinking like a stone it's gonna kind of flutter down got me shit together sorry me act together and uh, I'm gonna go and catch one of these fish there is a big floater mat a big mat of floating weed which might be a bit of a ball ache but I'm just gonna fish through it come on let's get them Tiny pollock? Well, I guess wrong. A long and skinny coolie. Didn't put up a scrap like a coolie. Just a little one. Another fish on the board. This is a bit better. Right over the back of that structure. I can feel my braid on the rock. Has lineman handle it though. Luminous cod. Well, the last time I was here, I got a luminous cod. This one is probably brighter, not as quite as big. <laughs> oh, go check out the colours on that. Oh, just a little fella, but I'll take it. I mean, that tail, pristine. Get in. Yes. Looks like having a word with myself worked. It's not always the case. <laughs> that little fella annihilated me lure, so I've just uh, 
put another one back on, a new one. And as I was doing that, I looked at the wheel, it was coming right up up here. I mean, Two and a half meters, three meters. Yeah, these swells. I think we've got another cod. Struggling to get it over the, the cow. Oh. Got it over that rock. Oh, it's a pollock this time. I'm not sure what's happened. It's taken me lower. The hook is fine. It is razor sharp. I got it through all the. I did all the hard stuff. I got it over the rock, through the kelp. Then it was just in some clear water there, and it just turned on its side, and bang, it was gone. Seen the seal swimming the other way as well. Cool. Ah. Ah, it's snagged up. Just about to say the seal's gone the other way. It's out. Got my drag loose there this time. Oh, it's a canny cod. Almost looks like the same fish, but it's bigger. in this net keeps us well away from the water's edge oh yeah it's definitely bigger this one definitely bigger there we go getting bigger it's not as bright as the other one but uh it's chunky look how fat that is it's definitely eating well yeah on the cod so all these fish have been hitting on the drop so I don't think I would have caught these fish if I'd carried on using a 21 gram 
uh, cab. I think, as I said earlier, the slower sink rate is uh, is really helping out because, especially in this swell, the fish are just hitting it on the drop. I'm barely even feeling the ta uh, the hits. In all honesty, just winding in, and there's the uh, there's the fish. What is it? Seven grams. Doesn't seem like a lot, but uh, obviously makes a bit of a difference. Could be the bigger hook, but I don't think so. I think if these fish wanted it, then they would they would have taken it. And having the uh, the, ex the slower sink rates, just giving them more impetus to uh, to hit the lure. I think. So glad I had a word. Well, something had to go there that I didn't feel. I didn't pull in through any snags and uh, my lure's uh, been ripped off my hook. So subtle these hits. Thank for another lure. Well, the fishing slowed right down here. I haven't had a bite for about uh, half an hour or an hour maybe. I smell fish on the air still, but there's uh, nothing biting my lure, so I might try another mark. I've only got another hour or so, so I might pack up here and go to my, uh, oh, what am I? <laughs> Little coley. Just as I was saying, I didn't have a bite. Uh, I've just dropped it. Uh, means I'm going to have to have one more cast now, doesn't it? Take this the last cast and then uh, do one. Honestly, thought that was a fish there. Uh. Just thinking, last cast fish, typical. Well, that definitely was my last cast. Uh, I've just realised the time and uh, unfortunately it's time to, to head back up there. Uh, back, walk back to the car and then drive the hour and a half home. It's been a bit of a crazy day, but it's been great to get back out on the rocks. Crazy because uh, a gannet nearly took out my drone and then a gannet dive-bombed a seal. Uh, it seems like the gannets were, were on one today caught a reasonable pollock, lost a better one, uh, two codlin and a coley, oh, and lost a coley as well, so yeah, it's not been a bad afternoon at all really. Really glad that I kind of persevered and had a word with myself at lunchtime. After I caught that pollock I was just fishing crap really, um, you know, being a bit lazy, not putting the correct hooks on, thinking you can get away with it and you know, that's the beauty of fishing. You, you can make subtle changes or slight changes like I went from a 21 gram cheb to a 14 and a 10 hook to a 2 after missing loads of bites and straight away I was in amongst the fish so I'm glad I made the change and put the effort into making the change else I, mean, I just thought gone to the, uh, the effort of coming down here then why am I just fishing crap? I really enjoyed it it's been a cracking day to get back out on the rocks again it's uh, not bad going for late September and uh, hopefully you enjoyed it too so if you did give us a thumbs up if you haven't already hit the subscribe button please do that that would be great and uh, I will see you guys on the next one tight lines <laughs>